Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are looking at the topic of capacitors. Now, a capacitor is a device in a circuit that stores charge. Now, what happens is that if you have a circuit and you and you see this symbol here in the circuit, then this is known as a capacitor. A capacitor is made up of two parallel plates. And within the plates, in the middle here, between the plates, you can have something called a dielectric. Now, the dielectric can be different substances. For school purposes, we will have A between the plates. But you can have other substances in, the, in between the plates, for example, rubber or, for example, oil. And each dielectric has a different constant, which is known as k which we wouldn't require at this stage in time now when you look at capacitors there's two important equations that we have to know the first equation that we have to know is c is equals to q over v capacitance is equals to charge over potential difference the second equation that we require is c is equals to e a over d where e is permittivity of free space which is a constant e is equals to 8,85 times 10 to the minus 12. A will refer to the area of one of the plates and D will be the distance between the plates. Now, we can do a, sum, a specific sum that you can get. In the exam, if you look at the sum here, we see that capacitors are circuit devices used to store electrical energy. The capacitance of a capacitor demand uh, depends among other factors on the plate's area. The larger the plate area, the more energy that can be absorbed. Apart from the plate area, state two other factors that can influence the capacitance of a capacitor. Now to answer that question, we can look at the equations for capacitance and uh, we see here that apart from the area, we see that potential difference can uh, affect uh, capacitance and we can see the distance between the plates can affect capacitance and the type of dielectric we use between the plates can also affect the capacitance. So apart from surface area state two other factors that can influence the capacitance of the capacitor, capacitor it will be potential difference and The other thing will be the, the distance between the plates. Now, if you look at the second question, a certain parallel plate capacitor consists of two plates. Each have a dimension of 2 centimeters by 10 centimeters. The plates are 2 centimeters apart and are held at a potential difference of 20 volts. The space between the plates is filled with A. Sketch the electric field pattern between the two positively charged parallel plates of the capacitor. Now, if you have to sketch the parallel plates of the capacitor, we'll have two parallel plates and we will have the electric field lines between the plates that I have an elect a uniform electric field. So to draw a diagram here, we can draw a line. That's the two lines. Um, between the plates and we have to draw uniform electric field positive to the negative and the field lines must be equally spaced and at the edges we'll have a curve like that and if this is the positive uh, this is the negative then the arrows will be going from positive to negative so that will be the answer for 10.2.1. If you look at 10.2.2, they say calculate the capacitance of the capacitor. Now here our first challenge is that we don't have the area between the plates. So to calculate the area, what we'll have to do is convert the centimeters to meters. So it's two centimeters will be 0 0,02 meters. And the area of the 10 centimeter plate will be 0 0,1 meter. And if you work that out on a calculator, 
we'll say 0 comma 0 2 times 0 comma 1 and then we get an answer of 2 times 10 to the power 3 or 0 comma 0 0 3 if we write it out 0 comma it just fails me there Two times ten to the power minus three. So that will be the area in terms of meter cube. And then we have to work out the capacitance of the capacitor. So the equation is C is equal to permittivity of speed free space E A over D. And E is a constant 8, 8,85 times 10 to the minus 12, or 8,85 times 10 to the power 12. So it was 8,85 times 10 to the minus 12 times the area of the plate, which is 2 times 10 to the power negative 3. And the distance between the plates will be 0, 0,2 millimeters, so it's 0, 0,2. 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 divided by a thousand and if we take our calculator we can work out the answer and capacitance is measured in farads so let's just work that out so it will be 8,85 times 10 to the minus 12 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0, 0,2 times 10 to the minus 3 and the answer is and the answer is 8,85 8,85 times 10 to the minus 11. 8,85 times 10 to the minus 11 farads. And this is a typical uh, question on capacitance. And as you can see, it is not very difficult to answer. Thank you very much for viewing.